Welcome to Morpheus Chair, the program where you learn to build robots from your comfy chairs. Thanks a lot for the support of the previous videos and in this video what we're going to do is combine what we did in the position control video and what we did in the movie video and we are going to combine it to move the real robot with move it. So without further ado, to the workbench! So I prepared some a notebook like always where you have all the instructions that I'm going to do I'm going to follow this more or less so let's go just remember that the code for moving the robot is in this git then we have also the notebooks and we also have um, the code for the episodes okay so everything that's not moving the robot the controllers and so on it will be placed here yeah also I highly recommend you to read this wiki uh, ROS control and do the robot ignite courses about control because um, some of the concepts here uh, need more explanation maybe so let's go so the first thing is launch the ROS deck like always um, or open your ID in your local machine and let's go so as I told you here we're combining both episodes that we did previously and essentially this has two parts one we have to create the controllers to talk with the robot that we've done it already but we need them in a format that is compatible with uh, move it yeah and in this case these are the follow joint trajectories actions so we have to create an action server that receives goals from move it and executes those movements in the real robot okay uh, everything that i explain here will have to be more or less the same in your real robot just that you'll have to change maybe the way you do it but the structure will be the same okay so we're going to go let me have a look so in your local PC in the, the PC that it's connected to the robot you will have to have these um, launches for the control because they have to connect to the um, to the um, robot through the USB cable yeah so it's it's the only thing that you can't have in uh, ROS development studio remotely yeah so essentially what we're going to do is launch this controller launch and if you have a look so I have it here it's essentially the same thing as we did in the first video of position control just that we are adding these two nodes and these two nodes are the key especially this one which is the trajectory server which is the action server that receives trajectories from move it and will execute them using this position control that we did previously and then this one is the gripper commander which essentially um, is listening to a topic the, about the gripper if we wanted to open and close and sends it to the position control yeah so let's have a look at the this trajectory server this trajectory server is in the open manipulator tc open manipulator core source trajectory server okay i won't go much into detail because um it's basically how to do um an action server in ROS. So I'll go to the notes here. We can simplify this trajectory server in two things. One, it starts um, a joint publisher, which is the goal dynamics and position. So it publishes in this topic, which is the one that we used to publish. So we go here to, um, if you go, to the code that we did 
you see that to move it, we published inside this go dynamixel position. Yeah. So this server is essentially, uh, just a moment. Yeah. It's publishing in this topic to move the robot. And then the other part, which is the most important part, is that it starts a simple action server of type follow joint trajectory action, which is the one that move it requires to make this connection. Yeah. And essentially it's, it's that simple. Then we subscribe to the joint states for the other, other stuff. And basically what we do is that when we call this action, among other things that we do, we publish these target uh, states into this topic and the robot moves. So let me just show you um, the callback because it's quite complex, but so you see there's loads of things that you have to do, which it will depend on how you want to do it and so on, but loads, lots of things will be exactly the same. And essentially what it does is takes the goal of the, the states that it wants to move to, that move it tells it to move and executes that. Yeah. So essentially it's a publisher to a topic and an action server. That's it. And you'll have to do the same thing. Yeah. That's it. As far as the gripper, as I told you, is we're not going to talk about it, but essentially is a subscriber to a topic that if you say open, it opens the gripper and close, close the gripper. Yeah. Okay. Let's start it. So this has to be executed in the real robot. So we execute it. And now you should have the robot joints rigid. Yeah. So if we have a look at the topics, what's topic list, you see that basically we have the ones that we had in the previous one. So these and these, but also we have this gripper command, which is a ROS topic info gripper command. It's a string, nothing fancy. And this is the important part. It's these are topics of actions for the arm follow joint trajectory, which are ROS topic info and for example the goal and you see that it's control messages uh, follow joint trajectory action goal yeah so this is what we have when we start the control of the robot nothing else so we have to memorize this because this is key afterwards to configure move it so that it can talk with this action so let's configure move it so move it, it's really complex program and the wizard sometimes does fi produces files that are not what we wanted or maybe very complex for what we want. So essentially what we are going to do is edit and generate some files. So let's go to the IDE and let's have a look at our open man manipulator episode to move it config that we did in the previous episode. So the first one that we have to generate is this controllers. So if we go here to the config, you see that I've generated and essentially you have to write controller list, the name arm, which is this. So if your robot is, I don't know, Ibo, then it would be Ibo, yeah? And then action namespace, follow joint trajectory. There we go, oops. And finally the type, which has to be follow joint trajectory and the joints that, uh, that are in that controller list. Have a look at this. 
this is the one that was generated by uh, the wizard and if you have doubts you just have to have a look at the joints that we added here that's it yeah okay that's one then we have to edit this we have to generate this joint names which is mm, essentially the names of the joints that we have nothing special about that it's all the joints that we have there yeah okay then we have uh, open manipulator planning execution which is the launch that we are going to use to start everything so uh, we go to launch and open manipulator planning execution and there you go here we load the joint names and here we start some elements that we need in order to move it to work um, it's not much special to talk about this because otherwise we would have to go very deep but essentially if you put this it's good enough yeah we just join state publish and we we have the source for the joint states that the move it will use to position the robot arm in move it in our viz and then we have the move group which is the the one that does the work everything and then we start the the rviz um, file okay great so now i have posted here the code we have to edit this open manipulator move it controller manager which was generated by uh, the wizard there you go here we are loading our controllers and stating that we are using this move it simple controller manager which loads the controllers and so on so there we go and this you say but this is not called inside this launch and that's because it's launched so i've stated here there you go so essentially when we are launching this open planning execution this calls the move group the move group calls this trajectory execution and this one is the one that calls this open so we have to edit this file in order to make this file work yeah okay great and that's quite it once you have it then you're good to go so we're going to launch the control here so we have it already in the, in the PC connected to the robot and then we're going to launch everything else remotely so through ROS Development Studio you can do it also in your local computer but if you do it with uh, ROS Development Studio you just have to use the real robot connection for that yeah I'll leave a link in the video description if someone doesn't remember how to do it uh, as I explained in the first video yeah so let's start so let's execute this so we are going to launch this planning execution around here then open this graphical tools or in your local computer just it will pop up an arvis like this Okay, so we have to wait until everything loads okay great so now if we go here we can see that we have the robot but most the most important part is that you see that the robot is in the exact same position as the real robot this is a very good omen indication that it's working because it's reading the joint states published by the real robot yeah and it's updating the the position of the model yeah so 
This is a very good sign. So next is, well, move it. So we're going to select one of the, the positions that we generated, like for example, this one. We update. There you go. So we have like that. Now we plan. Now it's planning. So there we go. So we have all the results and all the paths that it tested. And once we have it, then we execute. And before that, I would like to show you how. Oh, sorry. Uh, there you go. So we're going to see the feedback and the, the goal that it was sent. Okay. So we execute. And you see that the gray model has merged here. We have the robot in the correct position. And there you go. So you see that this action goal, in this case, what it does is send several points to go, around 17, 18 points of the trajectory. And that's the way it moves. And these are the values that are sent to our position control. And this is the feedback that tells us exactly where it was in each moment. Yeah, let's, for example, uh, try the home position. Again, we update. There you go. Now we plan and execute. Perfect. Fantastic. And we can do this, for example, with um, random valid, for example. Let's see. Like that. Let's see something a bit less dangerous for us. Uh, no, that's not good. Okay, let's try that one. Plan. There we go. Okay. And we execute. Fantastic. Now we move it again to home. And we plan and execute. Great. So now you know how to move a robot, do the basic position controllers, do the move it package, and then combine it everything to do a simple but very powerful connection with move it. And that's it. And that's all for today. Please leave a like if you like the video, dislike if you didn't like it, and please subscribe because it helps a lot and uh, you'll get notified with all those juicy videos about robots. And in the next video, as always, please leave it, leave it in the comments below what you want us to make the video about. And uh, there's a lot of topics about move it, for example, grasping, uh, perception, this kind of stuff. So please leave it in the comments below and I'll try to do my best. So until then, keep your best.